Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Gonna build a mountain. I hope I will. Gonna build a mountain. Gonna build it hard. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I only know I'm gonna try. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Planet Zoo cre Creations. Um, so today the animal that we have got to do in, order, uh, in the next order is a polar bear. Um, so this is one of the biggest animals I think on land requirement. So let's have a look. Population in the wild, or wait, wait, polar bear Ursus Maritimus. Uh, we're gonna go over the general information by the way and stuff. So, um, they're vulnerable in the wild. Population in the wild is 20,000, uh, estimated a 20,000 to maximum of 25,000. The polar bear or Ursus maritimus is a large uh, Ursine species that lives in the Arctic Circle and the subarctic regions with a completely white coat, dark eyes and a dark nose. They are stocky and built with sturdy legs and, a la and large feet that are well adapted to swimming. To, minimal, to minimize heat loss, the bears have small ears and sh a short tail. Males are between 2.4 and 3 meters long, weighing between 350 and 750 kilograms. Females are between 1.8 and 2.4 meters long, weighing to 150 to 100, uh, 250 kilograms. Both sexes feed on both ringed and bearded seals. The bears are vulnerable to due to climate change melting the sea ice on which they live and feed. With reproduced prey availability, the bears struggle to eat enough food to survive throughout the harsh winters. This also means females uh, are less, uh, far less likely to have cubs, uh, as they require a lot of feed to gain a significant amount of weight prior to pregnancy. In order to try to conserve the polar bear joints, uh, efforts uh, by Russia, Canada, Norway, Denmark, Greenland and the USA have led to the signing of the International Agreement on Conservation of Polar Bears which has committed to researching and protecting the population. Natural Habitat Continents North America and Europe, regions Canada, America in the uh, Alaska, Greenland, Norway, uh, Svalbard in Norway, uh, Russia and Iceland. Biomes aquatic, tundra and taiga. Minimum habitat requirements for one adult is a land requirement of 3250 square meters. They do not need climbing requirement. They need a water requirement of 720 square meters. They do not need a deep water requirement and their temperature requirement is a minimum or I should say maximum I think, I don't know, of minus 20 degrees Celsius and a maximum of minus 16 degrees Celsius. They need a grade 4 higher than 2 meters fence. And let's go over to the species data. So, social needs. With the exception of a mother with her cubs, polar bears are solitary. They only interact with each other to mate or fight over mates. Occasionally, male bears form strong bonds and spend time sleeping and playing together. Reproduction. Male polar bears track females through the scent of their urine. Multiple males may track the same female, resulting in fights to determine which gets to mate. In these cases, it is the larger, older bears that often win. The male and female will spend, then spend approximately a week together, mating multiple times. After this, the female spends four months eating a huge amount to gain a lot of weight. Before digging a den in the snow where she will enter a hibernation-like state, after between 195 and 265 days of uh, gestation, she will give birth to between one and three cubs, most often two. Her young will suckle from their mother for three months in the den, afterwards emerging to accompany her on hunts for solid food. The cubs will spend two to three years with her until she eventually chases them away for, uh, until she eventually chases them away for them to live alone. They will then reach sexual maturity at 7 years old, becoming fully grown at 9 years old. Social group size, excluding juveniles, 1 up to 2. So what we're gonna do is 1 male, 1 female, obviously. 
Uh, male backlog group size excluding juveniles 1. Female backlog group size excluding juveniles 1 to 2. Dominance, male bears will fight over mates. Mating system, promise, QS. Um, maturation rule, solidarity, all mature offspring become outsiders. Relation with humans, neutral, can just enter habitat, no. Averages, size, for a male, it is a, an average of 2.7 meters long, and for a female, it is uh, an average of 2.10 meters long. Life expectancy is um, for males a average of 35 years, and for a female as well, 35 years. Weight uh, for an average of, of weight for males is 525 kilograms, and for females, it is 200 kilograms. Um, and if you want to read the life cycle, go ahead by pausing the video. Research status. Fun fact 1. Polar bears are the largest land carnivores in the world. Fun fact 2. Polar bears do not need to drink as they can produce water through digesting seal blubber. Fun fact 3. Polar bears are one of the most sexual dimorphic mammals. Males and females differ extremely in size, surpassed only by the elephant seal. Fun fact 4. Polar bears have small bumps called papillae on the pads of their feet to stop them sl from slipping on ice. Fun fact 5. Polar bears are insulated by 10 cm of fat tissue under their skin to keep them warm. Uh, they will overheat in temperatures over 10 degrees Celsius. Polar, bears, uh, polar bear does not benefit from sharing space with other animals. They obviously do not need to be enriched with other animals like... The worst thing you could do is say, I'm gonna build an arctic uh, habitat with polar bears and then put in the water seals. Uh, that's not gonna be a great experience for those poor bastards. Anyway, let's now build a little habitat. Um, we need grade 4. So I would say... Hmm. Let's just do thick glass, shall we? It needed to be higher than 2 meters long, so that's that's already okay. You need a pretty big... Uh, ...habitat, so I think this will be around something that they will need. By the way, is it... I think there's something wrong with my settings that it's still on a video that I made. Master volume sheet, it should be on 100, I think. And the sound effect should be on 100, that doesn't matter. But just the... Apply general, yeah, that, that's, that's much better. Because I was constantly being ear raped, actually, to be honest. Yeah, that's much better already, isn't it? Alright. Okay, there we go. So now let's get a wooden habitat gate in. There we go. Now, um, this is gonna be a bit too big, I think. I don't really know, but let's just get ourselves a refresh list. Refresh, also reset all filters. Polar bear. And then we're gonna take a male and a female. Waiting in Trade Center. Let's send them over to the zoo. I just put it a little bit faster that they arrive and then we can start to build. There we go. Let's have a look. They have uh, 6,000, yeah, I, I made it a little bit too big, but I know these boys need a lot, so... I just added the ba barrier here. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. I just... Let's say... This also, and then... What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a barrier all the way from here. There we go. I think this will be much better. 
it's still big it's just because I'm zoomed out that it's looking way less okay nice so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make terrain so they needed a water requirement Jesus he's already screaming his ears off and I know we need more temperature um, requirements so I'm gonna place all coolers for the uh, polar bears it's really hard to <laughs> make anything here because it's full of snow but I know they need a lot of water so I'm thinking of creating like a big 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 water pond you know this build is gonna be awesome I can already tell nice arctic feeling in the summer well it is technically not really good weather where I live at the moment so nah this is a pretty good build right now we've had a terrible summer okay, let's fill that up with water and see how much that is all right let's have a look water is I need much, 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 bit, 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 bit more. All right, that's not an issue. Also, their uh, their habitat needs to be a bit bigger. That's what I thought because it's not for one uh, animal; it's for two. So yeah. Hold on, polar bear. What are you doing? Be careful, buddy or woman. All right, that should be perfect on water now. Uh, it's still calculating, I would say. What do you mean, no water requirement? There is literally water, or is it... I already think that I know what it is. It's because the edges are a little bit too... Much so they couldn't really get in. Well, that, that will be much better. I at least think. so hard to see with uh, this okay that's that will be much much better okay. okay there we go still not enough still not enough that's what I'm saying these polar bears are really hard to build a good habitat for in my opinion they need a lot of space which is fine because this this is a really cool animal and they deserve to have a lot of space I won't lie also trying to make it look very natural with like not even uh, grounds here but just general with deeper sections and stuff so this looks really good so they can swim up to it Let's have a look now. I didn't really extend it that much, but will it be better? I don't know. Uh, almost, almost, almost. Once their water is done, then I can extend this. And then we're going to be going a lot. But just for polar bears, this is what they need, alright? This is how crazy these, uh, these animals are. Of water requirement and I actually adore it a lot but you know here we go let's calculate it with the water officially now coming in well, let's see over here it has to be all right some of that please okay almost almost a little bit more Talk about a swimming pool, Jesus Christ. Talk about having a water pool. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <clears throat> okay, what does that bring us? Surely it has to be better now not calculating it and I don't know why come 
Come on, calculate the water. Okay, the water is good now. <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend the barriers a bit. Because apparently the, the barriers are now the issue. No, I made a mistake. Okay. Let's see how much that gives us. That gives us way better. So I exaggerated a little bit again. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. Alright, and then let's connect that. Let's hope it's good enough. And then we can finally continue. They will not need any... Like... Trees or something that much. They don't like coverage. Which is fine. Alright, that is enough. Look at that. That's perfect. That is how big your polar bear thingy needs to be. And the thing is also... The thing that's really annoying is that they don't need a lot of coverage. So it's gonna be this most of the time. But... We're not done yet with the train. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna make some mountains and some a den and stuff because it's polar bears, they need something as well. Alright, how does that look? Maybe a little bit smaller. Yeah, that looks better. With snow on it. Okay. Then now let's make a little den underground. That was my polar bear in intimidation. Okay, so you see that's maybe a little bit too much. And then they can just go and lay in there. I think that will be pretty okay actually. that look pretty decent actually pretty decent now what I just want to do is get it a little bit less because the thing is they're gonna jump over the fence here they will definitely jump over the fence so let me just adjust it a little that they cannot jump over it so like that I would say that's pretty good looking let's not make it that this is so bold let's just get it down a little that looks pretty natural to me <clears throat> then moving on they need a hard shelter okay that could mess up it a bit but uh, let's see shelter Let's get the species. Mm, 
Ok. Ok, so we can, obviously we're gonna have the Arctic shelter. Uh, where are, are we gonna put it? I would say put it... Hmm. Ah, in the corner probably here. That will be much better. Ok, that's perfectly placed. <coughs> I still have a lot of space. <coughs> and I have a hard shelter, that's uh, good enough. Sorry, there's something stuck in my throat. <coughs> Let's place some bedding in there. And I will have a large one. Oh, actually, let's delete these and then we'll delete that. We'll move that one and then what we'll do is we'll have a large one laying in the front there we go so now the second thing that i'm gonna do is actually place coolers because these poor guys are gonna have a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of warrant in my opinion so let's place some coolers all around the space but let no, no let's let's do that at the end here um hey buddy let's have a look so they need well everything is pretty all right it's gonna be snowy anyway so let's just get the long grass a little bit out of the way because that's obviously gonna be a lot but for the rest i don't think we need to change it all that much because it's gonna be it's mostly gonna be snow anyway so about that you know but let's just get the long grass out of the way because when it's cold there shouldn't be any long grass anyway uh, on this uh, on the ground it will be more like a soily sandy uh, structure because long grass lo grass can basically not survive that much in colder temperatures so i wouldn't say that we need to put long grass all over the place because that's just not realistic in my opinion so let's get all of that long grass. Let's get it rid of. Oh no. Oh no. I forgot something indeed. You're not gonna mate. We don't need a child here. We do not need a child. Do not mate. Do not mate. I hope it was in time. Because if you have a small polar bear or two. Then I need to get them rid of immediately. Uh, yeah. We don't let animals mate in our zoos. Sorry guys. So let's hope she's not about to have an offspring. Alright, then let's put some rocky substance right here because I would say that's definitely a possibility. And then we'll have some soil. This build will be coming alive, don't worry, it will be coming alive soon. So, yeah. Let's have some sand all over the place as well, not too much. Just random, like I said, because it doesn't matter that much, really. As long as it's good here, we're fine. Uh, let's put some more rocky substances. Because for them, it actually really doesn't matter whether they have... For them, it doesn't matter whether they have um, a lot of soil or not. For them, it's just snow anyway, with the surface under it. So, But for the visual spec spectacle you don't see that you literally don't see whether it is rock whether it's soil whether it's sand for them they feel it at their paws but they don't really matter that much either anyway so yeah that's better now um anyway moving on to the environment they have a lot of co oh they actually do like a little bit of coverage i thought it was gonna be less okay let's actually go ahead and get it going then plants uh, we're gonna have biome taiga tundra and aquatic then we're gonna have continent north america and europe and that should be the filter for them so let's actually place some spruce woods trees all over the place okay i think we can actually make a pretty nice build here now A 
At least I'm hoping. That I'm gonna be able to get the nicest build possible for uh, the polar bears. I think they actually adjusted it because I remember a playthrough of me playing back in the day when I was not making any videos and I made the polar bears a habitat and the, 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 the no it was for the king penguin I think the king penguin did not like does not like uh, like vegetation or anything if I am correct of course I, I could be wrong I don't really know what to do with the coverage because it's obviously open in most of their areas as well. So we're just gonna do it to a maximum that we can and then I think we should just save it at what it is. So the maximum that we're able to do to make it look as best as possible. Oh Jesus, that's that's a big one. For the moment I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. That's looking pretty okay actually. How is it going with their terrain? Ah, oh, that's already the issue, they need more terrain then. Hmm, it's not much that they need but... They would definitely need a little bit more of terrain. And also I think this is already good enough for the polar bear. Um, so... Huh. Let's actually delete a little bit of trees here. Maybe their uh, space will then be better. Let's go. That's already it. So I think we're going to hold it on that on coverage. Because they need a lot of open space as well like this and stuff um, I try to get as much coverage in there as possible to make it really look good uh, with different varieties I know you can make it as blank as possible as well and then it looks good as well but I mean we gotta get everything in there a bit don't we all right let's get a large bedding up in here as well there we go so now that they can sleep in there as well up next are gonna be the enrichments, I think. Where are they? Oh, there's one over here. Uh, then we need environment, that's pretty good. They like it, 100%. Okay, then enrichments, okay. Food enrichments, a bamboo feeder. Then a broken... Uh, a broken block of frozen ice. Block of frozen fruit. Ooh, feeding roller. I always like to put these in spots. Three forager. Okay, let's put this one right there. Ooh. And other water fish uh, feeder. I don't know if that's gonna work, but let's just try it. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna need to try something else, I think. 
underwater fish feeder there we go let's get like two of these in here and then let's see if they work it's accessible quantity so keep it assigned let's let's see if it works eventually i'm guessing yes all right i'm guessing that that will work eventually um now next up that we need is their toys toys enrichment a block of ice i hope it doesn't affect I, as you know every enrichment possible i will get in there so i'm hoping this will not really affect their space too much but if it does then we'll just adjust it once again but i'm also doing this because it's a, a, a lot of places where they can go so to put many many places with uh, stuff to do for them is gonna make them happy everywhere where they go and that's also i think very important and a herb sense uh, is also very nice put that in the trees and a large ball Hmm, let's put a large ball just over here. Large snowball. Uh, let's just put that there. What? Which one has escaped and where? Oh my god, he actually was able to escape. Oh god damn it. That's not what we want, is it? Okay, then we have a little pit in here, I guess. <laughs> oh no. He was actually able to escape it. You cannot be serious. Okay, now we shouldn't be able to anymore. Alright. Let's move him into... Thirsty? There's literally water over there, buddy. You can literally go into the water. Maybe not over here, because it's a deep edge, but I made it that way. But you can enter the water over here. Definitely, 100% you can enter the water over here. So, yeah. Let's get him back into the enclosure here. Where is the other polar bear? Where is the other one? Hello? Where are you? I literally cannot find the polar bear. Master of sneakiness in the snow, isn't it? Where is the other one? In the hide? No. Or did it have a disease or something? Habitat 1, let's have a look. Where are you? Oh, there you are, you're sleeping between the trees. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, yeah. That's actually really cute, okay environment then they need oh no enrichment let's go and keep going so next up was a prey scented sack i don't know if i placed that already so there you go a rubbing pillar then a tree okay then a scratching tree once again Submarine. Fuck yeah, let's get that in there. I feel like that's a little bit... A submarine buoy is not the best thing to do at the moment. Because... Reasons. You place that underwater, don't you? Well, you know, you could place it underwater. What we are gonna do is obviously get it above the water. So that it looks very nice. Wait, it's inaccessible. Oh, it's accessible. Okay. That's good so that they can just play around with it and, you know, whatever. As long as it doesn't look bad to the habitat, I'm fine with that. Submarine is not the best toy to have right now, maybe, because of reasons what happened lately. Um, but hey, a tire and then uh, wind chimes as well. So let's put the wind chimes over here. Then climbable, nope, they do not need any climbable, so that's all that there is to put in the enclosure. Then we're gonna go to, um, everything should be fine except their lifestyle maybe here. Thirsty, I mean, 
There's literally water over there, my love. You can literally go and drink water over here. You just have to go and get it. So I don't really know why they're not going for the water. But okay. Um, I may be able to make like a little water pond over here where they can also drink. Let's maybe do that. Because if they're thirsty then that's clearly because of problems. So let's see about this. See that's now a little water pond where you can just drink out of. So let's yeah, let's keep that. Okay. Said you're not thirsty anymore anyway. So I think that's pretty good. Nutrition will get better. They have a lot of food and stuff around. So I think this is gonna be it guys. Except one thing that we obviously have to do in the habitat is get themselves some cooling. Because I can trust me, I can believe that this is a very very bad situation for them at the moment because it's obviously way too uh, hot so let's put it at minus 12 degrees no it was minus 16 that was ideal let's just put it on minus 20 i do not want them to be suffering it feels for us humans, it's like, oh no, you're putting it minus 20 degrees, but yeah, that's just how it is for them. We would be freezing and I don't want to be in that enclosure, but you know, it is what it is. And let's put one here as well. We really have to make sure that everywhere where they walk, they have enough cool temperatures because if you don't, that's not gonna be nice, is it? All right, that's looking, it's looking so much better already. Because everything above minus six is get basically that they're free, uh, that they're too warm so i'm gonna i'm gonna make them have a good feeling here because you don't want them to be suffering don't you that would be really bad okay let's actually have a look here i don't know which map it was again ah there we go temperature map the water i don't know should we put someone some in the water as well let's maybe do that two in the water but let's put these a little bit less so warm because the thing is if you put them too cold in the water it's not gonna be nice so let's put nine is nine so that it's gonna be not too warm but not too cold either then they get out and they can actually get themselves warmed up uh, it's what it needs needing to be okay all right and then here we definitely need well let's keep their base a little bit warmer but also it shouldn't be too cold uh, too hot over here so let's put this at a minus eight because minus six is too warm for them minus eight should be good enough that they are not having too hot but that it's perfectly for them to be able to live in it all right there we go li ladies and gentlemen then i think this is gonna be it for the polar bears um uh, habitat i hope you guys liked this because it is very hard to make and keep consistency up here but it, i just do one take videos i can spend three weeks on a polar bear video and make it such a nice build but why should i like uh, putting rocks next to the water and stuff but i just want to keep it one shot video nice basic seeing the movement of the, of the animals with a nice montage and then uh, being able to move on so anyway thanks so much for watching guys and check out the montage
Alright everybody, that's gonna conclude it for the Polar Bears uh, video. I hope you all enjoyed and learned something about the Ice Bears or the Polar Bear, whatever you call them. Um, and I hope you liked the montage and then I will see you guys in the next follow-up video on the Polar Bears because what I'm planning on doing is doing every animal and then making a whole compilation of every uh, montage and then eventually in a, a follow-up video on how are they doing, what can we uh, do else. But in some time we will have the next animal and I can give you this, it will be in a lot warmer situation. Maybe desert, maybe not, you will see. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.